Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, we will see how to interface ST7735 TFT display with SDM32. I am using a 1.8 inches TFT display, and I will use SPI to interface it. The libraries used in this project, can be downloaded from the link in the description. Let's start by creating a project in Cube IDE. I am using Nucleo F446RE for this project. Here is our Cube MX. First of all I am going to set up the clock, as the SPI will need it to set the board rate. I have 8 MHz crystal, and I want the system to run at maximum possible clock. I am using SPI1, and half duplex mode will be enough, since we will only be sending data to the TFT. As you can see, the clock, and the mossy pins got selected. I am selecting the prescaler of 32 here, so the board rate is around 2.8 megabits per second. I am keeping this board rate intentional for now. I will show you what happens when we increase the board rate. This here is the pinout of my MCU. Pin PA5 is the SBI clock pin, PA7 is the MOSI pin, and I am going to use PB6, PC7, and PA9 also. Let's take a look at the connection. Here you can see, other than the clock and the MOSI pins, the CS, reset, and the DC pins are also connected. So I am going to select the PB6 pin for the chip select, C7 for the reset, and the A9 for the data or command pin. That's all for the setup, click save to generate the project. Here is our main file. Let's include the libraries first. Copy the C files in the source directory, and header files in the include directory. Let's take a look at the ST7735 header file first. Change the SPI handler here, if you are using any other. Define the pins that you are using for CS, Reset, and DC. Now define the type of the display that you are using. And also define the new width, and the new height. That's all the changes you need to make. Here are some functions available specific for the ST7735. And GFX functions have all the common functions, that are used in the TFT. I have included a test all function, which will perform some tests by drawing different shapes on the display. Let's go back to our main file now. Include the sd7735.h, and the gfx functions.h files. Initialize the display first. This function takes the rotation as the parameter. I will keep the default orientation at first, so rotation will be zero. Now fill the screen with black color.
we have more colors available. As you can see the color list is right here. And now I am going to call the test all function to perform the tests. Let's build this now. We don't have any errors, let's flash it. You can see all the tests being performed on the display. Now I talked about the SBI board rate in the beginning, let's try changing it. I am going to increase it to 11 megabits per second. Let's build and flash the new code. You can see, the display processing is faster now. So choose the board rate according to your requirement. Now let's print some strings on this display. I am setting the rotation to zero, and I am going to print hello. There are some more fonts available in the fonts.c file. This here is the color of the text, and then the background color. Then I am rotating the display, and printing world. Rotate again, and print from. And again. Let's build, and flash it. You can see the display rotation, and text printing, both are working alright. This is it for this video. I hope the process was clear. This code is a port from the Arduino library, so please don't ask for SD card support in it. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, be safe, and have a nice day ahead.